one Mike with Spray Jones. People ask me a lot, why is your foam purple? Well, we're going to answer that very quickly and very easily. And the reason is that it says so in the standard. Here is the thermal insulation spray applied rigid polyurethane foam medium density master specification. And to not bore you on all the details, we're going to jump to page 22. Here you are, page 22, packaging and labeling. It states that section 6.2.1 of the standard, marking for identification of manufacturer supplier. Each manufacturer or supplier shall determine a means by which their product, after being sprayed, easily and uniquely identified on the job site as being their product, which the manufacturer declares meets the standard. So in short, if we scroll down here, we'll see that it states right here, the marking should be distinct ink color added or a material added to the system which could be identified by the installation site. So there you have it. The spray foam needs to be color dyed to a unique color. No two suppliers are the same. It's trademarked so that one supplier to another can tell the difference. That way all the foams that are not certified will not be dyed and they will be their natural neutral spray foam color and any of the registered building code grade certified foam that's tested and dyed is, is dyed and is for use. I don't understand why manufacturers don't do this on a regular basis anyhow you would think that trademarking would be a great idea to make unique products so everybody knows what they're gonna get but in Canada it's mandated that you have to if you're using a building code certified foam it has to be readily identifiable by sight we're using the BASF wall type product and it's purple and there's your answer